Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my labor and delivery story. So let's just jump right into it. Um, last Monday, which would have been the 27th, I believe the 27th, I um, had bought Evening Primrose Oil um, capsules and they were a thousand milligrams. Um, and I had inserted one of those vaginally before I went to bed. Um, now I had tried every other like midwife, oh, old wives too, midwives too, old wives too, <laughs> whichever one it is. I had tried literally every single one in the book besides drinking castor oil like straight down and membrane, membrane sweeping. I didn't try either of those so nothing had worked for me and so I just decided you know what I'll just try evening primrose oil that'll be my last thing like I'm already overdue so why not give it a shot so I took those and I woke up at about 1 no wait I woke up at like 12 ish or 11 30 11 30 12 ish and um I had gone to the bathroom and I noticed that there was like a big pile of like brown stuff when I peed and now looking back it was blood but then I didn't know I just thought it was like from the um capsule like um coming out of me because once it once you put the capsule in it like dissolves inside of you so that's just what I thought it was I just thought it was the oil and everything coming out so that happened and then um I noticed I was having like some pains like contractions but they weren't like consistent or anything I fell back asleep so they weren't too consistent because I could fall asleep with them and then I woke up at like three ish three I want to say and I noticed that there was more of the stuff like coming out but this time when I wiped there was blood so I'd never had that happen before um, and so I was concerned and I had told my mom that there was blood or whatever and that we would just watch it and continue to, you know, watch it, make sure everything was okay. So my mom had stayed home Tuesday and she was like, let's just go walking, whatever. Let's go walk around the mall and everything because like I said, I was overdue and we were trying everything in the book to get Hendrix out. So... I was still having pains like all day, really bad contractions, like so bad that like I would hunch over and like I had to stop walking when I would have them, but they weren't consistent at all. Like they weren't minutes apart or anything. They were like a couple in an hour. So we just thought that it was nothing, but um, we were like, okay, we'll just go to the hospital after dinner, see what they say, because the bleeding wasn't normal at all. Um, like I said, I had never had bleeding or anything after getting checked out, like getting my cervix checked or anything and the day before on Monday when I went to the doctor my cervix was completely closed so um yeah my cervix was completely closed or whatever and they checked it of course and I had never had bleeding after getting my cervix checked so I was just like okay we'll just go to the hospital so after dinner we went to the hospital and we honestly thought that I was just going to get sent home because the nurse was acting like, oh no, like nothing's wrong, you're fine, you're just bleeding from getting your cervix checked, you're probably going to get sent home. And then the doctor came in and checked my cervix and I was actually three centimeters dilated. So I went from still being closed to three centimeters dilated, which I fully believe it was because of the primrose oil. So if you want to know like a natural way to open your cervix, soften your cervix, whatever, evening primrose oil did the trick for me definitely so she was like you know what we scheduled your induction day for next Monday but you're already three centimeters dilated what's the point of making you wait let's just go ahead and induce you tonight are you okay with that and I was like yeah <laughs> but I was really shocked because I wasn't expecting that to happen at all so we get checked in or whatever we get checked into an actual room and um they had given me, I think, Pitocin, is that what it is? The one that, like, gets your labor going or whatever. An hour or two later, they came in and broke my water. Now, when they broke my water, I'm telling you, maybe 10 minutes later, I started having the worst contractions ever. I tried walking around, like, the hospital, um, the labor and delivery area, 
but it got so bad to the point that I couldn't walk anymore. I had to lay down. And at that point, I was only four centimeters dilated, which is ridiculous. Like, I don't know how people go until they're like 10 centimeters dilated and deal with that pain without getting an epidural because there was no way I could not. I have a high pain tolerance, so I was really surprised. Um... So yeah, I started having really bad contractions and they were so bad that like I felt like I was going to pass out and when they would come like I would hit the bed because at this point I had laid down. I was like I can't walk anymore. I can't force myself to walk like I had to lay down and I was punching the bed and everything and then um, I was like no I need an epidural now like I just I need it and usually it takes like 30 minutes for you to get an epidural so I went ahead and called them and it took almost two hours to actually get my epidural. I was so upset because I was in pain, like I was crying and everything and I've never been in pain like that before. And so they came in almost two hours later after I asked for it and gave me my epidural and um, the epidural doesn't hurt at all. I don't know where people get that from, but at least for me, epidural didn't hurt at all. I didn't even feel it when they were putting it in my back. and. About 10 to 15 minutes after I got my epidural, all my pain was gone. Like, I was able to sleep and everything throughout the night. Um, I did wake up almost every hour because the doctor would come in and check me and check my blood pressure and everything to make sure I was okay. I could not feel a thing, and I couldn't feel a thing for almost two days after because of the epidural. It was insane how, like, a medicine could just take away all the feeling in your legs and everything. Like, I couldn't feel myself if I was peeing. That's why they give you a catheter when you get an epidural because you can't feel yourself pee or anything. I couldn't even lift my legs. It was so weird. It was incredible. It was insane. So, at about 7 in the morning, I was up for up for good like I couldn't sleep anymore and the doctor came in and they checked me and I was actually like I think maybe eight centimeters dilated I want to say and so it was more like eight in the morning because I gave birth at 9 45 like Hendrix was born at 9 45 so it was more like eight o'clock they were like oh we're gonna come in and we're gonna start pushing soon like you're almost ready to push like I can feel his head his head is right there you're almost fully dilated, so let's get ready and get this going. So, yeah, like a little bit later, um, the doctor came in. I guess it would have been around 9.30 because I was only pushing for 15 minutes. Um, and it only took me six pushes to push him out. So, when the doctor came in and everything um, at like 9.30, we started like pushing or whatever and... Um, well actually, no, the doctor didn't come in yet. The nurses helped me push a little bit at first because it just helps it get going, I guess, and help it be easier for the doctor. So I pushed maybe like two times with the nurse and then she was like, no, this baby's about to be out of you. Like, let me go grab the doctor right now. And the funny thing is like, like I said, the epidural, I couldn't feel myself pushing or anything. It was so weird. It was so weird. I couldn't feel myself pushing. I couldn't feel him coming out. I didn't even feel pressure down there when I was pushing him out. So the only time I could feel a little bit of pain was right here. It felt like his feet were right there or something. So when I had to push, like I went like down like this and I could almost feel him like pushing up into here with his feet. So that was the only pain I felt, but it wasn't even really that much of a pain. It was just like a tightness in my chest, kind of like if you have like gas or something, like you just get a tightness in your chest. So... Yeah, then they went and got the doctor, and within 15 minutes I had pushed him out. I was pushing from, I guess, 9.30 to 9.45, because he was born at 9.45 a.m., and yeah, it didn't hurt at all. Um, they made me feel so great about it, because um, I it's my first kid, of course, and usually people are pushing for like a longer time than 15 minutes, and it only took me six pushes, so... Although none of the like bouncing on a ball or walking or squatting or anything um, made him come, I do believe it made my um, labor and delivery a lot easier. So definitely try those things out. They may not put you into labor right then and there, but they're definitely going to help it um, be easier for you because it's just widening everything in here. So definitely recommend squatting, bouncing on the ball, walking, all of that good stuff. So... 
yeah and then as soon as I saw him I started bawling my eyes out and I didn't think I would be emotional like that at all but I couldn't stop crying for a good hour it was ridiculous like I've never fallen in love with somebody that quick I don't want to cry I'm just so happy I really am like you would never think that meeting somebody like for the first time like you fall in love with them that quick but you do when it's your kid and I feel like if you're a mom, then you'll understand where I'm coming from. It's just a really emotional thing. Ugh, I don't want to cry. I'm such an ugly crier. It was experience for me. And it was really beautiful. Like, the whole giving birth process and everything. Like, you see it on TV and you're like, oh, wow, like, that's ridiculous. They're sweating and everything. But it was really, actually, beautiful. It was a really be try to finish this quickly. I was cut off because I didn't have enough space on my card. But, um, where was I? Yeah, giving birth was the most beautiful thing I've ever experienced in my whole life. And it truly was amazing. So, that's why I get so emotional. He's smiling right now. Like he can hear me or something. But, um, yeah, so like an hour or two later... Everybody started coming in to meet him. Well, the people that were already there waiting. Um, like my family and one of my best friends, Brittany. Um, and that is when my boyfriend, now fiancé, proposed to me. I was not expecting it at all. I didn't know at all until my family came back in and two of them were recording. Made it so obvious that they were recording. So the nurse came. Dennis had walked out with the nurse or something the nurse came back with Hendrix and um I guess I was just distracted or something I didn't see her changing his outfit or anything and she came back and she was like so we usually like to give these um special shirts to newborns or whatever and then it said mommy will you marry my daddy and I started bawling my eyes out you can um go check out my um, proposal video. It's a short video. I'm sure you've already seen it. Um, but yeah, he proposed to me, which was another emotional thing. Um, I feel like I'm going to start crying again. Um, God, it's just really amazing that I'm going to be able to spend the rest of my life with. It was a very emotional day, to say the least. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. That's my labor and delivery story. Um, Right now, I still am having some pains in my vagina area, which is um, common. You know, after giving birth, you're going to feel weird for a little bit. Um, a little bit of an update. I'm already back down to my pre-pregnancy weight, which is awesome. That means I was literally all baby weight, surprisingly. Um, what else? I didn't rip or tear at all. Um they said that they had to give me maybe two stitches, and that was in my labia. But um, as far as from, like, you know, my vagina to my butt, I didn't um, tear at all, which I thought was amazing. Again, definitely, like, do your birth ball or whatever you want to call it. Bounce on that ball. Squat. Do all those exercises because they will help your labor be a lot easier. My um, labor was 12 hours long, but my delivery was only 15 minutes long, so... It was really quick and easy. One of the easiest things I've ever done. Like, no pain at all. Um, so, yeah. Let me get him out. He's probably going to start crying. He was in his car seat sleeping. So, all right. So, here he is. Let me fix his outfit a little bit for y'all. He's still sleeping, isn't he? He's still sleeping. Here's Hendrix. My little... Baby, he looks like an old man, doesn't he? Doesn't he? There he is, yawning. Yeah, no, he's he's knocked out right now. Oh, are you opening up one eye? Are you going to open your eyes for them? He said, yeah, right, I'm sleeping, Mom, leave me alone. Uh, he's just so cute. Eight pounds, seven ounces. My phone's ringing. But sorry, I'm recording. Um, eight pounds, seven ounces, 21 and a half inches long, I believe. That day was a blur. I have to check his papers and everything. I'm sorry. I feel like a bad mom. But he was eight pounds and seven ounces. Right now he's 
close to eight pounds. Um, he did lose almost a whole pound. Oh, no, 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 no. No crying, no crying. And this is his favorite position to be held. He's so sweet. He loves this. Just patting his back. And the crazy thing is he's already lifting his head. I don't know if that's like really normal or anything, but he's already lifting his head like a big boy. Makes me so sad. You're only a week old. Oh yeah, he's a week old today as well. So yeah, he's already lifting his head and everything. Um, breastfeeding is going great. It wasn't at first, the first like two, three days, but that's expected. Um, haven't given him any formula, le uh, formula yet, thank God. Um, yeah, he's so precious. Oh, you're making me get foundation all over your beanie. He's going to start crying. I'm sure he's hungry. But I'll just show you guys him again. Look at that face. Look at that little face. He's stretching <laughs> right now. He has his lips puckered up and everything. He's such a character. Are you going to open your eyes? I know you awake. Oh, there he is. Is that Hendrix? Is that Hendrix? He won't open his eyes. But, oh, there he goes. There he goes. Alright, so. I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see weekly updates or just monthly updates on him. Um, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. There's a smile. There's a smile. Uh-oh. He's like, you thought I was smiling. I was preparing to cry for hours. So, yeah, if you guys want to see weekly updates or monthly updates, let me know. I don't know which one I want to do yet, so just let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want to see maybe weekly updates for the first month and then just monthly updates after that on him or... Whatever you guys want, let me know, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.